This is great. We're in the middle of the ocean, no food, no water. We're gonna die. What do you mean? We got plenty of water. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so it's a little salty. It's okay. Mike, you realize you do that, you're gonna die even faster. Well, listen, I'm thirsty. I'll take my chances. I'm serious. Don't drink that stuff. Ow! It is salty. Oh, why is it so salty? Why is the ocean salty? A mystery that has puzzled mankind for thousands of years. All right, all right. The salt basically comes from two sources. The first, underwater volcanoes. When they erupt, they release tons of salt and minerals into the ocean. But that's not where most of the salt comes from. Nope. The biggest contributor of salt to the ocean is erosion of the continents. What? Well, when rainwater hits the ground, it wears away some of the salts and minerals contained in the soil. The water then carries these particles to the nearest river. In the river, the heavier particles eventually sink to the bottom, but the salt remains dissolved in the water. The river then carries the salt along until it finally dumps it into the ocean. So for millions of years, rivers all over the world have been bringing salt to the ocean, and the result is the salty liquid you see before you. All right, Shakespeare, sit down. So if it's the rivers that bring the salt to the oceans, then why don't the rivers taste salty? Well, the constant flow of fresh rainwater into the rivers keeps the salt concentration so low, you don't even notice it. But the ocean is different. It's like a big pool where the salt is forced to collect, because once it gets here, there's nowhere else for it to go. So... Salt comes from rivers and underwater volcanoes. But I'm getting real thirsty. And I want to know why drinking this stuff is going to kill me. Because there's one basic problem with salt. It absorbs water. And to prove it, just think back. Oh, about a week ago. Remember those steaks you tried to barbecue? You know, the ones we were really looking forward to eating? Yeah. Well, do you also remember putting lots of salt on the steaks before they were cooked? That was seasoning. Yeah, well, whatever you want to call it. Those steaks ended up like a couple of hockey pucks. Why? Because the salt pulled most of the water out of the meat. <coughs> a similar thing happens when you drink seawater. The cells in your body are like little bags full of fluid. Now, drinking seawater puts lots of extra salt into your body. And once the salt gets into your system, it acts like a sponge. It pulls the water out of your cells, which causes them to shrivel up. Now, shriveled cells don't work too well. And it's particularly serious when the cells in your brain start to lose their water. You feel dizzy, nauseous, and you can hallucinate. Eventually, your nerve cells stop working, so either your heart stops beating or your lungs stop breathing, and you die. Die? Can't your body just get rid of the salt? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Your kidneys are the organs responsible for removing any excess salt from your body. But drinking seawater creates a problem for them. What's the problem? Okay. To flush salt out of your body, you need water. I mean, you can't pee solid salt. Now, the best your kidneys can do is produce a urine with a salt concentration of about 2%. But seawater, on average, is about 3.5% salt. Yeah, so? Well, what it means is that for every cup of seawater that you drink, your kidneys have to produce a cup and a half of urine to get rid of all that salt. But you only drank one cup of water to start. So where does the extra half cup of fluid come from? Has to come from your tissues. In other words, if you drink seawater, you'll end up peeing out more water than you take in, trying
trying to get rid of all the salt. So you dehydrate faster than not drinking anything at all. Mike, don't! <laughs> so thirsty, I'll drink anything. Hey, look, a wheel! And there's a question. Whales are mammals like us. How come they don't get dehydrated? Hmm, whales, you say? because of one simple fact. Even though they live in salt water, they don't drink any of it. So where do they get their water? From their food. You see, just like our tissues are full of water, so are the tissues inside this fish. And thanks to a great filtration system, the water in here is a lot less salty than the ocean. So a whale gets all the water it needs just by eating a lot of fish. Here you go.